Welcome, my friends, to a new episode of Connect Your Speech. And in this episode, we're going to talk about glottalization. So first, let's see what glottalization is. And here is a lovely definition. It says, glottalization is the complete or partial closure of the glottis your glottis during the articulation of another sound wonderful so one more time it's actually the complete or partial closure so the closure happens here you stop the air here at this area right and then when does this happen it happens when you're articulating another sound. And the most famous type of glottalization is the glottalization of the te sound in English language. Like what? Like instead of saying, for example, but, you say, but, <laughs> look, the closure is here, but. <laughs> and instead of saying butter, you say, but, 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 but. And instead of saying water, you say water, water. And instead of saying meat, you say meat, meat. So it is this closure that happens here, my friends. This is what we mean by glottalization. So now it is time to see when glottalization happens. Let's go. So let's read the first tendency together. And the first tendency says, in GA, General American English, the T may be fully replaced by a glottal stop uh, before a syllabic nasal. Now, let's read that again and try to clarify it. So, in General American, the T may be fully replaced, like it disappears. Another sound comes in. Okay? And this sound is the glottal stop. Uh, and we call it glottal because it comes from here, from the glottis. Now, when does this happen? Now, mostly before a syllabic nasal. What's a syllabic nasal? We have three nasal sounds in English language. M, N, and N. So, mm, and, in, and, in, these are the three nasal sounds. So here, glottalization in American English happens before syllabic nasals. Now, what does it mean, syllabic nasals? Now, syllabic means this nasal sound can cancel the schwa sound before it. Like what? Like example here, button, button. Now, the na sound at the end of button can cancel the schwa before it, and instead of saying button, you say but. But, in Amer some Americans would say button, button. So and instead of the te, it becomes a eh, button. And we've got mountain. So it can be mountain, mountain, mountain. And we've got fountain. We can say fountain, fountain, fountain. Uh, uh. And instead of Satan, you can say Satan, Satan, Satan. And instead of cotton, 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 or cotton. Instead of cutting, it's cutting, cutting. Right. So let's see some examples from native speakers. Let's go. You know what I mean? All right, stop playing and hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you're enjoying this video content, please press the subscribe button and then the little bell will tell you every time I post a new video and I have lots of really, really great content. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Those at the top of the mountain are not victims. They would never let themselves be victims.
instead of cutting the mountain down to sea level. Instead, this fence stretches across some of the most remote territory on Earth. It goes through farmlands, deserts, across mountain ranges. Where are you? Your first guess might be San Jose, maybe Palo Alto, or Mountain View. I mean, time, like a time leaf, has two functions. It has a endocrinological function, which makes growth hormone, which is the fountain of youth. That's what causes a response and repair quickly in the body and regeneration. If you think about the, the Bic ballpoint pen, that pen uses what originally was a messy fountain pen, and they used a rollerball technology. This spectacular palace features a grand fountain and works by the famous animal sculptor, Antonin Louis Barry. So he also invented a disposable razor, a retractable fountain pen, and something called an invisible garter belt. And these were all on a par with his artificial heart. I have come to not only understand God more, but I have come also to better understand the enemy. Satan is the father of all lies. You are strong in soul, so you have the power to resist the attacks of Satan. They're wrestling with Satan. They're wondering if they should do it or not. Yeah, we might have actually a greater environmental responsibility by moving away from coinage and paper and cotton uh, materials to uh, a digital system. Named for the French city of Nîmes, denim was constructed as a sturdy cotton weave worn by sailors. So we have Senator Tom Cotton, um, who sort of made the rounds on Fox News and other places. The second tendency, my friends, in glottalization is related to RP, received pronunciation, British English. Right. And the tendency reads as follows. T replacement by a glottal stop is common pre constantly what does that mean like it happens a lot in british english that when we have a word ending with a t followed by another word starting with a consonant it's very common to glottalize the t sound like these examples not now so instead of saying not now many people could say not now Department, some people say depart, depart, department. Shut down, shut down. Batman, Batman. Catwoman, Catwoman. Late student, late student. So that's, that's very common in RP, received pronunciation, British English. Let's see some examples. Let's go. Um, it's clear that this is not real money. And just to um, demonstrate that, you can see this is the, the obverse, if you want to call it that, if you want to get technical. Uh, the reverse is identical. And I was like, what? Oh, that's it's daft, isn't it? It doesn't make any sense because it's, you know it's a, not real. The whole point is when you're an art student and you go into a gallery and you sit on the floor and sketch it and the hair goes up on your arm. But it doesn't mean that the Iguazu Falls are an illusion. It doesn't mean that it's not real. And um, you, know, you sat there and you're all nervous and then you come on and I'm like, oh wow. You say. It rose up, it sat there for five days. And that you, so it was a failure, but that like, people who were really into contemporary dance liked it, but it failed with the other user group that you're trying to reach out. But the thing that I love about painting animals, and it's mainly been sheep and goats, but also other um, livestock kind of animals. Specifically words of French from Normandy and Picardy mingled with the English words. But the arrival of French and Latin words did not stop with the Norman invasion. So clearly thinking positively can help work in those kind of contexts, but the fact that our brains can't tell this difference between what's real and what's imaginary is also why positive thinking can sometimes be a problem. And, and I couldn't, I just started welling up and I burst into tears and it was really embarrassing because I hate people seeing me cry. I get really embarrassed. I won't even let my parents see me cry. It's a flying creature. So we can see the head of the creature here coming up to meet the crest of that snake coming down. The third tendency is also about British English. And the tendency says, among younger speakers of RP, t glottalization can also be heard finally before vowels. Mm. Like what? Like pick it up becomes 
pick it up. Like got it becomes got it. So my friends, let's go and see some more examples. Well, there's lots to be getting on with. So first thing, I need lots of breadcrumbs. So take a piece of bread and start breaking it up into those bowls there. Now, if you worked at Twitter, what would you do? Would you take that down or would you leave it up? And then I can bring working class brown men into a space like this, just as Moroni has done and shake it up. If they do react negatively, do back away, you know, make sure that you're still there for them as a friend, um, but only bring it up if they do, and um, really just try and give them the space to process it. You can see the 10 year guarantees all over the place. Also the magic about it is the cushions. It can sit out in the pouring rain, the rain will just pour through the cushions and they will just dry off within a couple of hours after the sun's come out. And like, it'd be nice and sunny, so we'd just sit out on the terrace right. and look at the like views. Wallflowers are perfect because they can sit out in the winter and then they'll flower at the same time as when the tulips come out. Because you're driving around and exploring. Um, and then in the summer, having a garden is so nice um, because you can sit out and read a book or like we've got football in our garden, so we'll go out and play with that. Welcome to Riverside Outdoor Living. These bean bags from Extreme Lounging, absolutely brilliant. Sit out all the way through the summer, you can leave them out winter if you want to. My sleeping bags could get nicked as well. So like I don't I don't sit when I'm sitting out, I don't sit out of a sleeping bag anymore. Lots of events are held on this space throughout the year. And when the weather's nice, it's just a lovely place to sit out with your friends. So all the stories that were contributed, all the ones that you see on there, were contributed in the evening. Uh, and developed into choreography. So uh, you get in, you can send stories, you can also favourite stories. Why I could recognise the somebody in the nobody, it's because I didn't have a self to get in the way. You will also use mosaic nippers, a selection of glass or ceramic tiles and some other materials you can get in a DIY store. And see how the cabinets looked. Fortunately, because the light levels in the saloon are uh, much lower than you get in a studio. Able to stay with your partner um, or your child, um, as opposed to being told the visiting hours are the following. What do you get in patient hotels? Well, you get higher patient satisfaction. And very kindly lent me some, some gear, so I was getting to play with some, some big boys toys. Now it's amazing the amount of trouble you can get in walking around a city with a lens like that. I just think it's an enormous economic opportunity and I would urge people to get in there, get stuck in. I think the, the um, uh, scope for new applications, uh, uh, new uses of that data is enormous. Now my friends, the fourth tendency is both in the American accent and the British accent. And it's actually about absolute final positions. Like you end your sentence with a word ended in te sound. Or maybe you pause at a word ending with a te sound. And this is when glottalization also happens. Examples like when you say, let's start. So can be glottalized, the last te. We say, what? Well, or you say, but. Or you say get, you say foot. And usually this is very common when these words are at the end of the sentence, or you would pause after them before you continue speaking. Let's go and see some more examples from native speakers. Let's go. When we engage in a journey, which <laughs> this is a journey, no matter what, and students listening in today will be at different stages. If something in life's getting you down, you can talk to your barber about it. Yeah. If something good happens, you can talk to your barber about it. Yeah. Like, no matter what, you can always go. Okay. Woody's there for Andy and Bonnie growing up, no matter what. Did you have a Woody growing up? I carried on doing it, and then I started to go on the treadmill a lot more. So I'd go on it for like two hours a day on a, on the trot. Every every line in that script, every word in that script, was a prisoner to the idea that this was going to be one shot, and it had to work. It all had to be right. And I think that's probably like most impressive thing about that. He's just uh, so enthusiastic about riding. I love that scene because it's one shot. We made it so hard for ourselves. Wait, maybe too hard. <laughs> so 
30 <laughs> times. <laughs> Good one, dink holes. I think I got the balloon in the same shot as well. I'm not really sure, but the idea was to get as many things as I could in one shot. So that's flavour for free, nothing in the bin, and then the secret ingredient, some decent vodka. One shot. I love the way they've gone golden, crispy, absolutely beautiful. Normally I'd let these cool down for about 10 minutes, but while they're hot, they're really good as a dessert with some custard, amazing. When you stop and think about it, a tank is basically just a big metal box on wheels. It's bound to get pretty hot, smelly and stuffy in there before you add in an engine and five crew members. Let's get some oil in there. Oil's hot, egg in. What's the worst first date you've ever had? Um, someone who was uh, more boring than they were hot. And finally, my friends, we come to the Cockney accent where glottalization happens like all the way, right? So some examples, people can say, centre, pity, city, butter, better, theatre, later, cheater, cater. So it goes all the way. Let's see some examples. Uh, from the Cockney accent. Let's go. So how are you with it all? I'm good. I mean, I'm kind of settling back into it. You know, it's been like maybe like three weeks now since I've felt like it's all kicking off and stuff like that. At first, I was like exhausted and overwhelmed, a bit teary all the time. I don't know if I want to do it, but it was too late. So I just have to sort of get comfortable with it and ride it. Uh, you know, I just like what he does. I, it, there's certain filmmakers that catch your eye. Uh, and above and beyond that, uh, you know, he gave me a career. <laughs> I used to yeah. work on street corners selling perfume and jewellery, so I'm forever indebted to the man. But I think creatively, he just hits the nail where I want it hit. You know, I like his, I like the way, I like this, you know, the premise of certain movies that he makes. And, he, you know, he called me up, he said, do you want to make this dark film? It's uh, based, it took him about 30 seconds. Uh, and I said, of course I'm in. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. My, my father was a village at fish market porter and we lived in, in, a, in, a, in a prefab at the Elephant and Castle and he used to steal fish for, uh, for us and he always stole too much to put in our little tiny fridge. It was a little fridge about that big. We used to buy half pints of milk because we couldn't get a pint in there. <laughs> and and he, he brought home some haddock uh, one night, a lot of haddock. And he was, he was a stickler for health. And so we, my brother and I slept in the same, it was only two bedrooms. My brother was three years younger than I, we slept in the same bedroom. And he always insisted that we sleep with the windows open for fresh air, you know? And so it was always freezing in the bedroom. So he used to keep the fish in the bedroom. And he used to be on the sideboard in the bedroom. And this night he put the smoked haddock in there. And what I didn't know is the smoked haddock is covered in phosphorus. And so in the middle of the night, I woke up to go to the toilet and there was all this glowing at the end of the bed. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought it was a ghost. <laughs> it's a true story. If you put haddock in the dark, smoke haddock, if you have any, go and do it now. <laughs> Turn the lights out, you'll see it glows, just like a ghost. And it's frightened the life out of me. And I stopped eating fish. I still don't eat fish. I thought you were going to say, I you were say not many people know that, Not many, no. <laughs> Tonight, you get Britain's biggest comedian hosting the world's second biggest award show on America's third biggest network. <laughs> so, is it it's fourth? It's fourth. So, my friends, to wrap up, glottalization is the replacement of the T sound with an A sound. And as we know, the T is an alveolar sound, it comes from here. T, T, T. And the eh sound is a glottal voice. It comes from here. Ah, ah, ah. And in English language, you can remove the te sound at times and glottalize it, use an eh sound. Now, when does this happen? We said five tendencies. One in American English before the syllabic nasals, like when we said button instead of button. And one um, in British English, pre constantly, like we say, um, I got that, I got, I got that. 
And the third one is in British English among younger speakers, like when you say something like, I got it, got it. And the fourth one in American and British English at absolute final positions, like when you say something like, um, no matter what, no matter what. And finally, Cockney, which is like kind of all the way, right? So thank you so much for watching this episode, my friends. And till we meet again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share these videos. I'll be also down there in the comments responding to you and answering your questions. Bye-bye.